What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is the GBA Week 11 matchup of the San Francisco Giantes and the San Diego Chim Chargers and their coach, MV. Good friend of mine. Uh, we battled once this season in what I think maybe was one of my most fun battles that I've ever fought, but I, I did not win that battle. And it's come down to this in the playoff race. Uh, I recommend you guys go check out the GBA channel and watch the playoff picture uh, to get a little bit more... Uh, information on what's going on this week is a big week so i'm going to be looking forward to seeing later today the results of the matches between joey and i think he's playing aster and lars and i think he's playing jolt uh, because the results of those matches are a big deal on what happens this week so you've got your team your san francisco giantes right there on the screen in front of you we are bringing mew toxapex shaman blacephalon mega scissor and ditto uh, so we're gonna say yes here, and uh, we're not gonna keep MV patiently waiting for me anymore. Uh, so we're gonna click. We're gonna, this is the music. League title defense because I'm looking to be Elite Four Geo again, and in order to do that, I need some league title defense music. So waiting for the other player. Uh, I've got my calcs over here. I've got my. Builder over here, and so I am waiting. I'm assuming Tapu Koko, Empoleon, Pinsir, Magmortar, Kurum, Gligar, maybe. What do we got? Gligar, Empoleon, Coco, Silvali, Pinsir, Magmortar, no Mungus, no Hoopa, no Kurum. That I love that. I hate Kurum. Uh, no Slowbro. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so. I'm going to change. Uh, no Kyurem instead Solvali. I don't know what type it is. Um, but looking at... No, Mr. Phone, you gotta wait. Uh, looking at this, uh, we are seeing... It kind of depends what the Solvali is, but maybe looks... To, hmm. The balance is actually really good. He's got quite a few ground weaknesses, but he's got two ground immunities. Um, so, looking at this... I really need Mega Pinsir Evolved ASAP. And looking at him, I'm thinking Empoleon or Gligar's likely leads, but could possibly be the uh, Tapu Koko as well. So in all of those situations... I think I'm okay. As long as the Tapu Koko doesn't have HP fire, I should be okay to uh, get my Mega Evolution off with Scizor, but... <sighs> Let's go! Let's go, Envy! I'm a little nerve-sided here, because this is a big game. <sighs> Let's go! Empoleon! Okay. Okay, this is good. Okay, so, I've got a little bit of speed investment on this, uh, just enough that if he tried to creep me, that I will outspeed. I'm thinking, so I mentioned in the team builder that I'm thinking this is an SD set, and so if it is, uh, that means he might have drill peck. So Shaman might not actually be the best answer for him, but I really don't think he can do anything to Toxapex, uh, and I do have the Rocky Helmet. So if he is the SD set, um, I can get a little chip on him, certainly force him out with the Toxapex. Maybe I'll even be able to get a chance to get my um, Toxic Spikes up. So I think I Mega Evolve here, uh, and then I'm gonna U-turn into Toxapex. All right, this is a good start. No. Guys, I am never drafting Scizor ever again. All right. Uh, 
Okay, so that had to be um, very specially offensive. I could still, well, I don't think it's SD anymore, obviously, since it has to have pretty much full special attack investment. I could go remix the scout it's set. I don't really want to go shaman knowing how offensive that is, because uh, I don't know that I'll take it out in one hit, because it, I'm thinking it might have Shaka. DMX is just going to give him a free switch. He's, he's on the front foot here, like right away. I'm going to go, I'm going to go Mew here. Because I do have the Focus Punch for it. I could also Stealth Rock. If he's going to switch into something to take what he thinks I'm going to go for. Last time we had this matchup, I had Earthquake against him. I clicked Earthquake. So if he's predicting that, he might go Gligar. But I have Ice Punch for Gligar, and I'm faster than it, so I'm pretty sure even if he does that, that's still just damage. And I know he's Flying type and resists it, but I don't think anyone wants to take a Focus Punch. And Pulling doesn't really have anything to hit me super effective. So I think I can click the Focus Punch. The one thing that sucks is if he does choose to attack as I click Focus Punch, he's gonna um, obviously break it, break my focus, and I don't really have anything else for him. Boom and Ice Punch won't do a whole lot. Uh, but I can always go out into Tox Apex and kind of make some moves after that. So ideally I would have liked to have had Stealth Rocks up beforehand so that I could be confident he's gonna go for Defog. But I think he's gonna, if he has Rocks, he'll click Rocks. If he doesn't have Rocks, I think he'll switch to Gligar here. Or maybe just try and get a Scald Burn on me. I'm gonna click Focus Punch anyway, because that's the point of the set. So I think he stayed in, otherwise I wouldn't tighten my focus first. He does click Stealth Rock, okay, okay. Do you have the Choppleberry? <laughs> no berry! Ah! <laughs> it worked! <laughs> oh, yes! Oh my god, you don't see Focus Punch often that actually work. Okay, he does have rocks, but... And I don't have Scizor. But... Scizor wasn't... I wouldn't say Scizor was mandatory for me. He doesn't have Curum, which is okay. Coco Loco. My best switch-ins to Coco are... Remix and Tefiti, although he could pack the Brave Bird. What am I saying? I have my Focus Sash still. And I really need rocks. He's still got Magmortar and he's still got Pinsir. And a Z move Coco Thunderbolt, um, depending on his set, might not even be a two hit KO. And Revolt switches, I, it definitely won't be. So I'm actually going. I'm actually going to click Stealth Rock here because I desperately need those up. And Polion is gone, so he doesn't have Defog at this point. So if I can get Rocks up and have them stay for the match. And he's just going to U-turn. Actually, that's going to hit me harder. But that actually did not do a lot. So probably Timid, I'm guessing. Timid looks like 32 to 37% with that. So we're just going to go Gligar here. I guess he was probably anticipating the Earthquake. But little does he know. <laughs> I have Ice Punch. I see no reason to not click Ice Punch here. So uh, I'm just going to. I have no reason not to click Ice Punch. He's going to scout for it. Okay. That's a smart play. Into Hita. What if I'd had Water Punch, guys? Okay, so he's seen Ice Punch, Focus Punch, and Stealth Rock, but he hasn't seen Explosion. 
So, what does he think? If he thinks I have Zen Headbutt, if he thinks I have Zen Headbutt, would he go... Silvali... Does he have, like, Dark Silvali for the Mew and the Blacephalon? I would outspeed it anyway. Um... This thing can have dark coverage. I actually think this might be... This might be the boom moment. Because if this... I mentioned in the team builder... The, the risk that this thing is Z-Electric and takes out... I cannot... I cannot risk my Toxapex here while he still has the... Okay, we just... We just disconnected. Okay, we have recreated. We are back. We are ice punching this Hita. Uh, and he burns me. I'm thinking... I'm thinking this won't matter. To be honest. Because I was giving this some thought. Um, during the recreation. I think... I just boom here. Right? Because... Like, what's he going to do? He he switched out of the Coco. Maybe he was scouting for Earthquake. He probably... I probably wouldn't bring Earthquake and Fighting Stab. So he's not going to scout to see if I have anything else. I don't have anything else for him. But if I explode here, I take him out or I hit something really hard. So I think I'm going to click it. But then if it switches into something and it matters, I think I might... Um, I might message Envy and tell him I want to redo it. So I'm going to click Explosion now. If it takes him out, I'm fine. I, I don't need to. All right, he goes down. So I'm, I'm fine here because if that's what I was gonna do anyway, and that's what I was thinking, then I don't think it matters that the burn happened. It doesn't matter at all. I killed him, so he he opted not to switch. So, okay. Now let's think. I have rocks up. Probably Coco is his best bet because Gligar and. I don't know anything about the Silvali. If the Silvali comes in against Head Go Boom, I'm just gonna boom on it. I might just boom anyway. What do I really have? Like, so I'm still un I'm until proven otherwise. Until I see it, I think that Silvali is Dark type, uh, and I don't think Head Go Boom really does much else this match. So I, I think I'm just gonna go Head Go Boom and. I'm pressed to think of a scenario in which I don't just click explosion here. Especially against, oh my god, especially against this beast. If he stays in, then he's locking himself into something and he's going to show me what that move is. He won't kill me with a U-turn. That gives me a lot of information to work on afterwards. I might be able to go Shaman or something like that. Uh, I'm just going to boom on this. No Coco Loco for me. He's going to withdraw. Ar Arceus stats. <laughs> the Solvali. Okay. Can you tell what type it is just by looking at it? I don't know if this will kill it. but Alright. I'm not complaining. Arceus. <laughs> Guys, my plan is actually kind of working here. Because, <laughs> so Blacephalon didn't really do anything there because anything I could start chipping away at hurting, I'm at risk of just being like walled by the Gligar or revenged by the, by the Pinsir. So this is actually playing into my, playing into my hand really well. So, but now we have a 50-50 or 33, 33, 33 scenario. If he goes Gligar or Coco... Then my best switch here is Shaman. If he goes Pinsir, then my best bet would have been Toxapex. Yeah, the Coco, um, I can one hit KO the Coco with my Earth Power, and he can't 
threaten me. The U-turn won't do enough. So I'm actually gonna go to Fiti here because I think he goes Coco for like a, some U-turn shenanigans. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna go to Fiti. Kingpin, what's Kingpin? Oh, okay. All right, I got that wrong. But I already know this one because I said it in my team builder straight away going DMX. He's not mega evolved yet, so if I hard switched, I would be just regular pincer against a mega pincer. I don't want to do that. But if he's going to click sub here, that is the whole point for me here to break those subs. He's going to write for the frustration. That's funny. That's funny. So I was thinking to myself, do I go uh, max happiness or min happiness? Last time we battled, he went frustration. And I thought to myself, um, do I go max happiness or min happiness ditto? Because last time we went frustration, so he's going to think, oh, I know he's going frustration. He's going to go return this time. So I'm going to get him with the max happiness. But fortunately, it doesn't matter that much because I'm a quick claw, so um, I'm okay to click a move that's good against Pinsir and then switch it up for the Gligar or something. But that did more damage than I was thinking. He might be adamant. Or maybe it's just the stealth rocks, I think. But either way, um, I'm going to... Do toxic spikes help me here? No. Let's just scald just in case he does click sub or something stupid to try and set up on me. Uh, he's gonna frustration again. And DMX is gonna go down, but he's weakened. And and here's the thing, guys. We've we've seen such a similar scenario to this before. Toxic spikes down. Kingpin is now dead to rocks on switching. Did I did I lose actually? Did I need that for Gligar? Obviously, I can, okay. Well, obviously, I can't go Shaman here. I have to go Remix because I have to pressure this out. But if he switches, he's dead. If he stays in, he's dead. Let's see what he's got first. Frustration, Quick Attack, Earthquake, Swords Dance. Swords Dance would be nice. He doesn't know that I'm not Scarfed. Swords Dance would be really nice. Um, but if he clicks Frustration, then I'm 100% dead. And since he knows that he's dead to re-entry on rocks, uh, there's a good chance he just stays in and clicks it anyway. Because if Gligar can handle this, I don't know what Gligar has. So he might have rocks to in order to tank a hit from me and then rocks me after. And then I think I lose to the combination of... So, uh, I don't think I click Swords Dance here. That's too risky. Especially because even if he doesn't come with the frustration, since I'm not Scarfed, he could just click Quick Attack right after. So I actually think I'm gonna double here. And here's why, if he does stay in, I'm pretty much in the same position I'm in anyway. I think he's switching. He does switch. But he switched first, so now he's probably gonna s he's gonna be thinking in his head like he's not scarfed. But this is good, I have HP ice for this. Hmm. It might not kill. It does have a chance to, it depends on his investment. Yeah, it depends on his investment and kind of what set he is. Um, Why are so fast? It's crazy. Originally, I was going to go a super bulky Shaman set. He actually would have outsped me if I'd done that. Uh, I'm going to click HP Ice here, right? Uh, super effective again. Well, if he switches back into that, he's dead. If he switches into the Coco, what would he do? You turn into the Mega Pincer. I think HP Ice is my best play. Okay, does it take him out? Because he did take rocks damage. Ah, uh, no, he's got quite a... Oh no, he did have defog on it. Is it double defog? I guess when you're bringing a pincer, it's important to keep rocks off the field. 
That complicates things. Um, I still think I HP Ice here. But let's think, let's talk here. Uh, if I HP, okay, so ba he's gonna sack Baby Chimp. What does that mean for me? Okay, actually I, ah, oh, shoot. I think I see why he did that. Because with Rock's gun, I, I should have thought about the defog on the... Alright, let's think. HP Ice, 120. Seed Flare is also 120, but resisted a lot. Earth Fire doesn't affect. Psychic is 90. So, HP Ice is my best move here. HP Ice will kill him. If he, he's not going to set up. He's just going to kill me, but that's fine. So... Okay. Okay, well, there's good and bad news. The good news is I know he has Earthquake, and I'm not locked in. The bad news is because he switched first, he knows I'm not scarfed. What does that mean for me? Okay. This is, this is like the fastest game I've ever played, but I think that's what happens when you bring double explosion. <laughs> okay, he's got two Pokemon left. Shaman's out, okay. Let's think. Um, he clicks. Okay, he clicks quick attack here, I think, because if he clicks frustration and I click quick attack, he doesn't do any damage to me. Oh, maybe it doesn't matter. Because Thunderbolt's just going to take me out anyway. So it's going to come down to the Quick Claw. Well, I live a Quick Attack from him. I know that. So I just click Quick Attack here. Um, so I win the Speed Tie. Excellent. And I don't reveal the Quick Claw. So he might actually, <laughs> he might actually, he might actually think he has this. <laughs> and he, he probably does, but we're get, we're, we have introduced a scenario very similar to the Joey scenario, which is, <laughs> I need a roll, I need hacks. Like during versus Joey, I needed uh, the I need the T wave to full para. And against this, I need Quick Claw. Uh. <laughs> All right, let's go for it. Quick Claw. <laughs> Quick Claw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy sh! <laughs> Quick claw, baby! Quick claw, baby! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Holy crap! Quick claw, baby! Twenty percent chance to win that game! <laughs> Holy sh! <laughs> oh my god! Do I want to save this video? Hell yeah! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, he literally... Evie just said, What the f***, Quick Claw dude? Lol. <laughs> Holy s***. <shit. laughs> Hold on, can I share? This... I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Holy s***. Oh my god, I'm so... <laughs> this season I beat Joey, and I beat the Lord Envy himself. F***ing Quick Claw Ditto, yes! Hey, I gotta give a shout out to Chimp for that one, actually. Chimp Pack told me, like, way earlier in the season when we were talking about our trade, our Slurpuff for uh, Rabombi trade. 
you're saying, hey man, you gotta run Quick Claw ditto more off. Cause that thing is like, it's almost like a scarf. You got the 50% chance to win the speed tie anyway. And then you got an additional 20. It's like 70% chance you're gonna win the speed tie. And then you can switch up moves and it's, Ah, oh, man, that's so genius. I'm so happy the Quick Claw worked. Holy c man. Ditto coming in clutch. As I kind of figured he would, honestly, the, the pincer is such a huge, such a huge threat. But the Giantes pick up the 1-0. Guys, we needed that so badly. We needed that so badly. Uh, because whatever happens this week... Going into next week with that win means I'm like so much easier off uh, to try and make the playoffs. I do have one more game and it's, I got to win it regardless. Even if both Joey and Lars lose this week, I still have to win next week. Um, I'm pretty sure. Well, maybe not. Maybe I maybe I out differential Joey. Anyway, this is there's too much talk for that, guys. I'm going to go talk to my friend. Oh my God, I'm so happy that worked out. That is two games this uh, this season I've I've set up a, an end game scenario that won only by hacks, but I'm okay with it. I had a hard season. All right, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say too much. Leave some <laughs> leave some comments. Leave some love in the comment section down below. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to say one other thing. I gotta thank uh, I gotta thank Tom and it's Turbo uh, because they were helping me team build again uh, and talk about sets. Um, a lot of those I used and only tweaked slightly, and even more of them are ones that could be useful for me. If I'm still able to make the playoffs, it still could be really uh, big for me to bring some of those forward. So shout out to those guys, and shout out to MV, my boy. Go go check him out if you guys haven't already. I'll leave uh, a link to his channel in the comment section down below. Now I'm real. Now I'm actually out. As always, my name's Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you guys next week.